This disturbing footage shows what the United Nations is calling human shielding in action. Facing intense international criticism after soldiers who participated in an occupied West Bank raid strapped a wounded Palestinian civilian to the hood of their Jeep and drove through the streets of Jenin. The Israeli military has responded to the backlash in a statement that acknowledges its soldiers violated protocol, adding that an investigation has now been launched. <laughs> Back in the Gaza Strip, carnage and destruction continues as well. Multiple people were killed after Israel launched an overnight round of airstrikes that hit part of an industrial college run by the United Nations Palestinian Refugee Agency, UNRWA. Some people were filling water, others were receiving coupons and suddenly we heard something dropping. We ran away. Those who were carrying water let it spill. We pulled martyrs from beneath the rubble, one who used to sell cold drinks here. There are about four or five martyrs and ten injured. Earlier this week, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu sparked a spat with the White House over his comments suggesting that the Biden administration was withholding weapons and ammunition to Israel. On Sunday, he released another statement with a slightly different approach. I highly appreciate President Biden's and the U.S. administration's support of Israel. Since the beginning of the war, the U.S. supplied us with very important support, both in spirit and material, with defensive and offensive means. Israel's defense minister headed to Washington on Sunday to meet with his U.S. counterpart and Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Ahead of his departure, he reiterated the importance of Israel's relations with the United States. During these meetings, I plan to discuss developments on the southern and northern fronts in Gaza and Lebanon. We are prepared for any action that may be required. The mounting tension between Israel and the Lebanon-based, Iran-backed Hezbollah have left many in fear that the war in Gaza could expand. That fear, coupled with a strong desire for Netanyahu's resignation, has tens of thousands of Israelis once again taking to the streets. Protesters are calling for an immediate ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, the safe return of Israeli hostages from the besieged enclave, and a reshaped Israeli political landscape. For City News, I'm Carling Donahue.